Hello and welcome to the HID Global installation video for the Digital Persona Evaluation Software. This software is meant for evaluation purposes only and therefore does not require a server or any Active Directory infrastructure. Today we will be installing on a single Windows 10 workstation. This will allow you to test the basic functionality of the software, including enrollment and single and multi-factor authentication. Let's begin installation. I will open the installation folder, open AD Workstation, and then run Setup. You may find that you need to install some requirements, so go ahead and install those. You will need to accept the license agreement. Choose your installation folder. Select the option to locally store biometric data on this computer only. Select custom and choose the option for attended enrollment. Then go ahead and start the installation. Once the installation is complete, you will need to restart your computer. Let's go ahead and log in. Now go back to your installation files and install the administration tools. In this case, you can accept all of the default settings. Start the group policy editor by clicking start and then typing gpedit.msc. In the local group policy editor, expand local computer policy, computer configuration, software settings, digital persona client, security, and then authentication. We are now going to edit and enable the logon authentication policy. Launch the policy, select enable, and then add. Let's go ahead and add password uh, to ensure that we can always get it using our domain credentials. Now go ahead and add a second credential such as card or biometric like fingerprint. Choose whichever credential you'd like to test. You may notice that at this point we can enforce multi-factor authentication by adding a secondary or tertiary credential. But for now, let's keep things very simple and just enforce single factors. When you finish, go ahead and apply and save your policy. Just below authentication, you'll find the enrollment policy. Go ahead and open that. Select any authenticators that you wish to apply. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them and then Click OK. Now, since the eval version of this software works without any domain resources, we'll have to enable standalone mode. To do that, you will need to go to the administrative templates, Digital Persona AD, Workstation, and Advanced. There you will see a template titled Allow Digital Persona Client to Use Digital Persona Server. Open the template, disable it, and then save it. Now that your policies are in place, we need to force synchronization of your group policy. To do that, open up a command prompt as administrator. And then type gp update forward slash force. Once your policy has been successfully updated, go ahead and close the command prompt.
Okay, now let's check the status of the workstation software. From the system tray, right click the digital Persona 80 workstation icon and select about. You will see that the server connection is set to no server local user. Now let's go back to the icon, right click it again, and this time select open digital Persona 80 console. When you launch the console, it's going to prompt you to authenticate. So I'm going to go ahead and authenticate using my domain credentials. Okay, so now it's time to enroll a credential. For the sake of this video, we're going to do fingerprint, but of course you want to go ahead and enroll whatever you have available to you. I'm going to select credential manager. And then under fingerprint, you'll notice that it says add since I don't have any fingerprints enrolled. So I'll select fingerprint. And then I'm going to select the fingerprint that I'd like to enroll. I'm going to pick my left index finger. I'll need to present my finger four times. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm now going to save that fingerprint. And I can either lock the workstation or log out. I'm gonna go ahead and log out. If I check my sign-in options, you'll notice that I only have available to me the two options that I've enrolled, fingerprint and domain credentials. So I'm gonna go ahead and present my finger and you notice that I am immediately logged in. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in using digital persona in your environment, please reach out to the HID sales team.